hi welcome to the Amanda show this is my first first video um, that I've done for this show so far um, and I'm very excited about it I just don't know what I'm going to talk about yet <laughs> um, I've been talking about a show for a very long time I'm, I think about three years ago I started an actual blog called the Amanda show and um, I just wanted to make a blog about myself um, I'm not all that interesting, but I felt like I needed to record my journey. So, and that's what I'm doing um, in 2017, when I said three years ago, um, and I'm finally, finally getting started on it. So, this is The Amanda Show. Um, my name is Amanda Matthews Pace. Um, I'm from Miami, Florida. Um, I enjoy helping people. I enjoy giving back. I enjoy um, just making people smile. Um, just being an inspiration of the people that I know of um, and even people that I don't know. I enjoy um, making people happy. So I'll give a little bit about myself. I'm 23 years old. I'm born August 24th. Um, I am a Virgo. Um, like I said, I'm from Miami. Uh, let's see what else should I talk about. I am in school. I am in a master's program for counselor education with an emphasis in mental health counseling. So that'll be a lot of what a lot of what my videos will be about is um, mental health, um, the importance of mental health, the importance of getting checkups, the importance of going to the doctor, the importance of all of that stuff. You know, just taking care of yourself and making sure that you're whole spiritually, mentally, and physically. Um, it's important because we won't be able to do anything if our bodies is not good, if our bodies is not feeling well. We can't we can't be our best self if we're not well within ourselves first. So um that'll be a topic that I talk about a lot, mental health. Um let's see what else would I be talking about. Um God most definitely because he's first in my life. Um my journey through school uh let's see what else um just fun stuff random stuff definitely music i am a music head i sing so you'll probably hear me singing one day who knows what i'll be talking about i just want to introduce a new thing to youtube i just want to be myself i just want to be original and that's what i will accomplish so my first topic today um is how's my day going uh, my day is going really well. I started off by going to church and I learned something that that I feel like really stuck with me, you know, from the message that they gave at church, which was um, in your suffering, your suffering produces perseverance, your perseverance produces character and your character produces hope. So those three things stuck with me. And I'm just like, what does that mean? What does that mean? So I decided to um, do some research on those three words. And that's what I'm going to go over today. So let's go to Google. I hope you all really enjoy my show. Um, I really don't have nothing to talk about. So I'm just winging it. <laughs> I promise y'all. But I really hope that somebody enjoys it. And somebody gets something from whatever you know i talk about um i'm a very spiritual person i don't like to say religious i do believe in god um i'm sorry for those who don't believe in god i feel like you're missing something valuable in your life um but to each his own but yeah but like i was saying i'm a very spiritual person um i will read scriptures i will quote scriptures i will say things that may not necessarily always have um you know a religious background to them but i will say things that i feel like i need like affirmations positive things like i'm a very positive person i try to be inspirational like i said to people to other people and most of all to myself first um i've been to pl i've been you know in a place where i was down and out and i had nobody to call on but guess what i had someone to call on and i didn't realize it and it was god i had to call on him to help me through a lot of things that I've been through. And I feel like, you know, it's important to have God in your life. So with that being said, I'm going to look up um, those three words. The scripture where they were talking about perseverance, hope, and character, 
um, came from Romans 5, and I think it started at verse 3, but they started at the beginning. So anything, any, anything within Romans 5, I want you all to try to read. But I wanted to look up the word perseverance. So in your suffering, it creates perseverance. So when you're going through a bad time, when you feel like nothing is going good for you, when you feel like everything is just hitting you, slapping you in the face, right one thing after another, in that suffering, you have some positive things to think of, to, to grasp, to hold on to, to learn from. And I feel like that's what this scripture meant to me. Um, so perseverance, in your suffering, you're, you create perseverance. Perseverance is also steadfastness in doing something despite difficult, difficulty or delay in achieving success. I'm going to read that again. Steadfastness in doing something despite difficulty or delay in, in achieving a success. Wow, this is so powerful because I've been asking God, you know, to bless me with a new job. I want a new job. And that'll be another video where I'm talking about that. But I really wanted a new job and I really felt like I deserved that, you know? So that's my success. I would say I'm looking towards, but in my suffering, you know, waking up every morning, having to go to a job that I do not like in my suffering, I have created perseverance. I have the ability to do something despite the difficulty it may be causing on me, despite the stress, despite anything that I may be going through at the time, I have the perseverance to keep going, to get up, to pick myself up and continue to move forward. Um, okay, so that's perseverance. And my perseverance, let's see. And the other word, my, pers my perseverance produces um, character. So let's look up character. I'm getting Snapchats. <laughs> so character. The definition of character is the mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. That can also be your personality, your nature, your disposition, how you create, how you act, how you act around other people, your character, your, your, hmm, let's see, your makeup, what makes you a person, what makes you, you. So... In, in, in suffering, you have already produced perseverance, the ability to keep going. Then you produce character, which is what makes you you. And then the third thing that they said um, is found in your suffering is hope. And then it says the definition of hope is a feeling of expectation and a desire to for a certain thing to happen wow like y'all don't even understand like I'm the type of person where I just feel like everything has a meaning to it you know what I'm saying like everything is connected in our world and when I say that everything has a time and a place for it to happen if it's not the time and the place for it to happen, trust me, it won't happen. Like, everything is, is our steps are ordered. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, everything has a time and a place. Everything has a meaning. Everything has a reason behind it. We may not always know what is the reason behind it, but it's, it's happening. Whatever you're going through is happening for a reason. It's either for you to learn from it, for you to, from you to get something from it, for you to teach somebody else you know in the future but let's go back to hope so it says that hope is a feeling of, of expectation and the desire for a certain thing to happen so in your suffering you're already producing perseverance you're producing character you're building a great character and then also in your suffering you're gaining hope that something better will come in the future for you not you won't be suffering you know 24 7 you won't be suffering for the rest of your life you're waiting for something good to happen and that's your success that you're supposed to look towards and you know what i don't know who this is for it may be even for me and i know it's for me
because I've been dealing a lot of, uh, I've been battling a lot with what am I going to do? You know, like I want to, I know what I'm going to do in life. I know where I'm, I know what I'm going to school for. I know what I want to have as a career in the future, but what am I doing right now? I always feel like I'm not doing enough. Like I'm not, I'm not achieving enough. I'm not, I'm not being productive when I really am. Like <laughs> I've already graduated with a degree from, from one university and I'm on to the next right after no breaks. Like I'm just, you know, on a straight and narrow path, but I feel like I'm not doing enough. And that's crazy because a lot of people have been telling me, Amanda, you're doing a lot. You, you need to slow down. You need to, you know, you need to embrace what you're doing. Embrace, embrace where you're at right now. And I feel like that's so important. Your success is wherever you're at in that very present moment. Like, because I'm pretty sure that you, I'm pretty sure you've achieved so much to get to that present moment. So it's like, you're at where you're supposed to be at. And I have to constantly tell myself, I have to constantly remind myself of that because I always feel like I'm not doing enough when I'm doing just enough. So I don't know who that who's that for, but that's definitely something that I needed. Um, so just remember that in your suffering, whenever you're going through a bad time, you're doing something that's benefiting yourself. And what you're doing is you're creating perseverance. You're, you're creating the ability to keep going despite whatever may be, you know, hold, trying to hold you back. You're creating good character. You're doing the right thing. You, you're having, you're in the right place. And then lastly, you're creating hope for the future. You're setting up something for the future. And most of all, when you're doing something and you're, you feel like you're not doing enough, trust me, somebody's watching. They feel like they're not doing enough, but they may see you doing it. And they may say, oh, Amanda over there doing this and this. Maybe I could do that too. Or maybe I could do something similar, you know, like, and I just, that's, that's really what I want to be to people. And that's really why I make this YouTube channel, just to be an inspiration to other people. I don't know how many people may be going through what I've been through, but I want to be a, a good, you know, a good role model for those people to look at. You know so with that being said i thank you for watching my video i hope to continue to stay consistent and um continue to make new videos that people are watching i really don't care if y'all watch or not anyways i'm gonna still make them because i know at least one person gonna watch and if i could reach just one person if i could just talk to one person if i can you know help somebody to look at things in a different perspective or give somebody a new approach to think about then I'm doing my job. And with that being said, I love y'all. Peace out. Have a good day. Thursday, baby, bring it over here. Thursday.